Honey, I gotta go. I'm going on a quest. Hey, how are you? Hello, Canada. You like the dunk tank? Pop over glass. Hey, rep, kiss my ass. We messed up. Things got out of hand. Drake's is in bad shape. Don't take my dog away. You, you wearing your rubber boots tonight? <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to the Rubber Boots Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Fandom, a sports bar in your phone. The Fandom Sports app is coming soon. We'll let you know as soon as it's out. Let's get to the pod. Hit it, Victor Newman. This is JD's podcast. JD's Rubber Boots Podcast. You got that? He's going to sit and relax and tell you some stories. Tell you some stories. Talk about life and sports. Probably some play some games, but I don't play games, all right? You know you're gonna have a laugh. Have a damn laugh, all right? This is the podcast. I foreclosed on your home and sold your dog. Nice, you have a nice day. <laughs> I was a, uh, <laughs> was a week late. The Lester's timely, Vic- but still Victor good. Newman. Victor Newman, all right? Opening of the Rubber Boots podcast. Very well done. What did you say at the end? I, I, forecl- said, I foreclosed on your home and sold your dog? I foreclosed on your home and sold your dog. Have dead. a nice day. I've been dead five times. Oh, I who's come that? Back every time. Look, everybody. It's, it's Bump. I am Bump. Hey. Bump, of course, making his return after he was fired after the debacle that was the Masters podcast. The most entertaining podcast. I was fired after that. That doesn't oh. make sense. Should it be known? I said last week that all the podcasts will be known by one word. Would that be the Masters podcast? Would that be the Mick Ultra Mick podcast? Mick Ultra no, podcast, Ultra. definitely. Hey, they Ultra. didn't step up to the plate with no, the sponsorship. That's true. They did not. Was that the Champagne podcast, Puffy, <laughs> where Puffy broke the bottle of monogram well, no. champagne at our rented house? <laughs> I think that was that night. I think it that was, was Champagne Tuesday. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, it was Champagne Tuesday. The podcast just rolled right over into Champagne Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> One had a lot to do with the other. And that was also the day the DJ fell, right? So didn't, didn't we go from... The podcast into DJ following. No, no, DJ no, fell DJ on Wednesday. Was Wednesday. He was oh. Wednesday. Okay, well, that screwed up my story. We didn't do champagne on Wednesday, right? It would have been Tuesday. Uh, Bump, by the way, uh, if you missed the Masters episode of you the podcast, the uh, he's from the Bump and Run podcast, a very popular golf podcast he does with Bob Weeks. Bump, uh, I don't, you know, I was going to say your normal name, but who cares? Let's just be Bump. Yeah, um, keep the rest bump. of it and bump. By, Hit it bump. By the way, Matt Cade, I came up with a great name for him. Cadence. 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 That's kind of musical. Like All right. That. I like Cadence. Cadence. I think. All right. Yeah. Cadence could not be available today, and I went through the most of the other entire staff, and then none of them were available, so I called bump. <laughs> <laughs> You better bring it this week. <laughs> Readily available. I <laughs> after my master's appearance that I, I, it was a certainty that I would be back. Didn't you screw up all the names, or was that me? That was you. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> Didn't you call it Ted Knight, Ted White? Or was, <laughs> Did I? Or maybe that was, was weeks ago. I think it was, news. Somebody was. There was a lot of mistakes. If made you haven't that. listened to the master's episode, one night when you're having some beers with friends, Man. shock Just, that one up. Yeah. Um, Lester and Kristoff can take no responsibility for that one because they were not there. Well, Kristoff did save it with some of his post-production. He did. He did. The post-production was unreal. It was very necessary. That episode and the entire operation, really. (laughs) (laughs) Show enough. Uh, Episode 15 of the Rubber Boots podcast. We're sorry we're late. Uh, Work actually finally got in the way of this thing. Uh, I was off in Ottawa for... Game six, which the Senators pulled off, and thus we had to delay. And I, I will say this right in advance. This podcast is going to be dated because we are taping, recording it um, before game seven. So mm-hmm. how are we going to handle this? Because everybody will be listening it already knowing that Ottawa or Pittsburgh is in the final against Nashville. Should we tape two segments? Two, we two podcasts. And then <laughs> one where Ottawa wins and one where Pittsburgh okay, let's wins. Let's do like one minute with Ottawa winning and then one minute with Pittsburgh winning, and then Stoff can edit them out. Or mm-hmm. just leave them. That's what perfect. the hell? Okay. All right. So we had to do that at the U.S. Open. Ready? And whoa, what a victory by those Ottawa Senators, Puff. I didn't think it was going to happen early when they fell down by five goals. No, well, but no, when they stormed back. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't do, that. do it that you way. Do what that. Do you mean? That's like saying today and tomorrow. You can't uh, do that. 
Yeah, you can't unless we do a hundred versions of this. <laughs> we to, when they storm back from four goals, when they storm back winning from goal three by goals, Carlson, Hoffman, <laughs> Hyatt. <laughs> in the old, the old SNL days, Tom Brokaw was retiring back in the old vintage Saturday Night Live days. Yeah. And uh, who's the guy who used to do Clinton? Uh, oh, uh, it was uh, um, Daryl. Daryl Hammond. 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 So yeah. he did yeah. Tom Brokaw too. Yeah. And so they did a bit where NBC didn't want to lose Brokaw, so they decided to record every intro that he could possibly say over the next thirty years. <laughs> 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 so he was like, I can't remember. It, it was Richard Nixon or Ronald Reagan who was still alive back in the day. He'd be like, Richard Nixon died today of old age. All right, next one, Tom. Richard Nixon died today of pneumonia. Next one. <laughs> Richard Nixon died today after being mauled by lions on an African safari. <laughs> we, we did that at the 2010 U.S. Open because Weeks, he had to go on to a skins game. Right. And he had to leave before it was over. <laughs> so, we did. so we did seven stand-ups for each winner. Graham McDowell. <laughs> Oh my God! Dustin Johnson, <laughs> so standing. Uh, it was unbelievable. We did seven stand-ups about halfway through. Right. Um, well, we didn't finish this, so let's do this one more time. Take two. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. What a victory by those Ottawa Senators, yes. Puffy! It's my so hometown exciting. comes through. Can't wait to get to Ottawa this weekend. It's unbelievable. I didn't think it could be done, but uh, they, we, they did it. Good job. Yeah. That's, That's a great analysis. analysis. What a game. Right there. What a game. Well, what, uh, Ottawa, Nashville. You're what welcome, a final. Canada. That's You're basically welcome. the dream final. Okay, now let's go to uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah. Whoa! Crosby and Malkin pop. They do it again. Did it again. Wait a second. No, what, if, what, they they what if they get hurt? Yeah. What if they both get hurt? The Penguins yeah. on their way to another repeat. You know what team? Oh, they haven't repeated see. before. The, well, they're they're looking yeah, like they did. I mean, they, they repeated. They, they're looking like they're yeah, going to. They obviously, right. they've got an opportunity now to do the same thing they did in '92 and '93 back to back. This is a disaster. It's amazing. I had clearly the best point out of all of you. That's true. He's right. Okay, so we'll just isolate the Lester clip if Pittsburgh wins. Stop. So Stop will have this ready to go by Thursday of next week. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most edited podcast <laughs> oh ever. Look, it, it doesn't really matter. I'd love to go to Ottawa. I said sure. in the beginning, Ottawa-Nashville was my dream final. The fact that it might or might not have happened, it's, whatever. Yeah. But the fact that we're going to Nashville, Poppy. That's all that really matters. Hey, how exciting is that? Um, Bump, you're not going. Screw I'm not you. going, no. Lester, you're not I'm going. I'm not going. Screw you. Most oh, exciting no, things going. in my life... Children being born, right. getting married, and born? going to Nashville. For did you just say born? <laughs> he did. Born? Did you just say <laughs> born? I, I, I thought I heard Don't born. think I born? No, I think you said born. Birth? No, I think you said born. Born. That is not a word. Children get born. <laughs> born. They get born. <laughs> they get what? They get born. <laughs> this See? podcast. Not that easy when the plural. Thesaurus. When my, chi- my children have been born. Born. Yeah. Born. Born. Not born. <laughs> They're born. Born. Born, born with an in the past. Not ED. Oh. If you're not addicted born to, to d- Jason Bourne movies, <laughs> then you're born. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so say it again. Your so, greatest moments in life. Children. Getting born. Becoming alive. <laughs> <laughs> getting married and going to Nashville for the cup final in no particular order. Now, wow. is getting married really in there or is that just a necessity that you throw that a in? A necessity that I throw in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tanya. Well, yeah, it's true. But. Um, okay, so anyway, we're very excited. Very excited, yeah. And Ryan Johansson of yeah. the Nashville Predators, who had that uh, horrific injury that has kept them out and will keep them out the rest of the way, but was a big reason they're there. He'll join us later on. Now, we're not going to do the typical Ryan Johansson interview. Hey, how does it feel like? I mean, I might have to ask him a couple of those questions to do my for sure. my sports host job. Yeah. But really what we're having him on for is for Puffy to ask. Where can we go when we're what, there? What bars do we yeah. need to go to? Nice. Yeah. Right. And uh, so Ryan Johansson will join us at the end of the podcast. Right now, let's get to the Rod Smith recap. Leave me the hell alone. Rod Smith's on vacation this week. I'm in Cabo with Kate Upton, losers. Have you not watched SportsCenter and noticed I'm not there? Of course you haven't. Who watches any show without Rod Smith? Fine, I'll do this. Only because the ladies need their weekly Roddy fix. So lather up, girls. Here we go. On episode 14, Duffy and Puffy showed us they are 97 years old. I don't know how to put a gif on Twitter, do you? I have no idea. No. <laughs> Duffy had another completely idiotic dream. I have this recurring very sexual dream, being naked in the shower with other men. And suddenly, this guy with the mustache, he's got pantyhose. And there's a brick wall behind me. He says, you do me. And that was the end of the dream. Do you think I'm messed up? The guy is screwed up. 
Sirius Lester and Cade tried to figure out Duffy's demented dreams. This dream is about you trying to be, continue to be creative in a world that puts obstacles in front of you. I just think it's sexual. Speaking of sexual, there was a lot of penis talk on this episode. Penis reduction. Apparently a couple of wow. hammers in this room. This That's stuff is cool. flopping at me. That was essentially this guy's package. You know when you pack it, what I'm packing <laughs> The gargantuan hammers, swings, penis package. Cock! Just like nipple, no one says penis like Rod Smith. Penis. See? So perfect. Also, I think the guys came up with the perfect tagline for the podcast. A bunch of grown men with their wangs hanging out talking to each other. Duffy's teenage crush Sandy Horn from The Spoons called in and left an opening for him. I'm single right now. Only because Rod Smith has chosen to let you be single, Sandy. For now. Also, Puffy's hypotheticals put the boys under the knife. Okay, you get one piece of plastic surgery, free of charge, painless. What would you do? I would uh, surgically remove myself from your dreams. Ah, Kristoff. He is the smart, sassy comments. What Rod Smith is the sexy-ass commentator. That's all for this week. You owe me for this one, boys. The invoice is coming, baby. Now back to Kate Upton rubbing suntan lotion into Rod Smith's back on a Cabo beach. Lower. 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 <laughs> oh, dear. That's the best oh, one ever. Man, for a guy on vacation, <laughs> Rod wow. Smith delivered. He totally delivered. Wow. I don't, I don't remember That's my dream stuff. being exactly... <laughs> I, exactly I think he nailed it. That's exactly how wow. I remember Unedited. it. Unedited. Wow. I have to... Props to Christoph because I, awesome. I, I told him to just... I said... Take my dream and shorten it down and just take some clips. And I don't think that's exactly what he did. No. It was kind of like that, though. Wow. Also, Puffy, uh, an update. Uh, Puffy and I said last week that we did not how to know how to do GIFs on Twitter. <laughs> and then we went on Twitter. Yep. And found the gift button was right at the bottom it's of the tweet. Very simple, actually. <laughs> and as soon as you hit the button, it yeah, was it's pretty just, much the easiest thing Have you ever. done one since, though? Well, we did one oh, right immediately, away. Immediately, yeah. To, uh, to, no, to Cade. Cade, yeah. Yes, we to responded to Cade. We each did. You did one, too. Yes. We each did a gift, so we're now gift veterans. Are yeah. you a fond of the gifts uh, bump? I don't use a lot of gifts, but I know how. You right. do? Yeah. yeah. It was way easier. Way, how did we miss easier. that? Well, I think we just thought it was more complicated. I but, thought we had to go you, on like if YouTube. If you start to type have, a, any sort of tweet, yeah. the little GIF button's right there. Yeah. I just, how did we but miss that? Some that never really you can like, think about it. It's all yeah. good. Uh, there Pretty was a easy. lot of penis talk on there that. There was a lot of penis talk, talk. Yes. Did that, yeah. bo- as a listener bump. Uh, no. Because I don't think. No, I loved it. I love penis. Is that in there? Is that in oh, no. You marked? Mark that. No, I uh, think you just, that was just to assure you'd be on next that's week. Right, that's yes. right. Uh, okay. It was mature penis talk, though. Yeah, it it's not Beavis any, and Bothead no. type no. stuff, right? No, no. And that's what this thing's for. <laughs> Did you right? do that? That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, regular segment? Uh, a regular segment of penis, uh, penis talk? talk? No, mm. only if it comes up in yeah. natural conversation. Natural. You keep the three wood. Yeah. <laughs> Three wood. Is that a word for? Is that a uh, word code play. word for penis stock? Uh, we also have Bump here because he's a golf expert. Later on in the podcast, we are going to give away the three wood as promised. We had a lot of great suggestions, uh, some not so great. We'll get to those, and the guys will vote, and we'll have a Ooh, winner. Get a vote and give away free stuff by the end of this podcast. Uh, the Stanley Cup Final is our next assignment. We were going to try. Puffy and I will try to do podcasts from the final. Because I think that's what the people want. Yeah, it'd be great. We try to do one live from Tootsie's. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a little loud, but we'll pull it off. <laughs> uh, we could probably get Ray on, although Ray gets paid for some other. Yeah, Ray some only other podcast. does podcasting for money. Bob probably won't go on again because no, that'll cut to the Bobcast. Yeah. Yeah. Dregs, Dregs we could probably get on. We could probably get him to do it. Yeah. Dregs after a couple of cocktails. Yeah, yeah. Cup final. I would love that. Everybody's there. Wow. wow. Not yeah. me. Oh, not so me. Uh, I will or bring. Uh, technologically, I don't know if this will work or not. Because I used bump and runs technology at the Masters. So yeah, but I you have, had some stuff. I have some thing on my phone, and I, I have a microphone. And then just fix it and post, so, baby. <laughs> send it back to Kristoff <laughs> and see what happens. Yes. Uh, I thought we'd tell a, a favorite Stanley Cup final story. Do you have one, Puff? Uh, I'll, I'll tell mine first, and you can think of one. Sure. It, you weren't at this one. I don't. You weren't. You weren't at the Vancouver one. Yes, I was, but I wasn't. Uh, I left <laughs> after Game Five to join Bump at well, the U.S. Right. Open. At Congressional. Congressional. You chose golf over the last two games of the Stanley Cup final. He chose. Yes, I did. He chose Rory McIlroy over. That was one the of the Cup great final, one of US the great Open U.S. Opens. Too. 
Great track, too. Yeah, that was a good one. So 2000... I saw the first five games, so I saw most of that series. Yeah. Yeah. It was I saw over. two blowouts. I missed... That's all I missed. So Game 7, 2011 Stanley Cup Final, Vancouver you Canucks, seven? Boston Bruins. Yeah. Uh, Bump, maybe you weren't invited back because you interrupt <laughs> my stories. <laughs> It's uh, the James Duffy's Rubber Boots Podcast, not Bump's Rubber Boot Podcast. I thought when I was on, we, we had an arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> so Game 7, 2011 Stanley Cup Final, a couple things happened. And I, I shared this in my book. I, I, I shared it with hesitation because I'm a professional, and I, I rarely make mistakes. Puff, you, as much as we joke about the road, game nights were very serious. Yeah, game nights. We, pick, sure. our, we pick our spots. Pick, there's off days, yeah. And the night before games, I we had go out for a nice dinner usually, and that's it. Mm-hmm. So I made a mistake the night of uh, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final in Vancouver. And I went out for a nice dinner. I was going to turn it in. And then a uh, friend asked me to meet them for drinks. And we were at some place, drinks. I figure I'll have one drink, and that's it. And for whatever reason, um, there were mango mojitos. And it was a three-for-one three sale on mango mojitos. And I like mango. I throw a little mango in the smoothie yeah. sometimes. For sure. So, yeah, why not? And then that happened a couple times, and then you don't, you don't feel them at all. You don't mm. feel them. And you're just drinking mango juice. And then you get up, and things are a little silly. And then I end up at a bar with some Boston Bruins fans, and it, it got, it wasn't good. And so the next day, I show up for the panel, and uh, I'm a bit of a mess. I can't hold, the mic is literally shaking, and I think I'm going to throw up. Which I had a couple times. And is that before, before the? Yeah. Is that for like the early sports center? This panel? is the early sports center, which we are doing About from a across False Creek. If you know Vancouver, right across beautiful. from the rink, there was a, a center built for the Olympics that turned into a rec complex, and we were doing our hits from there. Beautiful area, all glass walls. Yeah, it's really nice. So here we are. Bob and I are sitting on the set, ready to do our hits, and Ray is late arriving, and I'm shaking and thinking I'm going to throw up, and Ray is getting his makeup on, and Ray forgets that they're glass walls and walks right into one of the glass walls oh, no. and splits his nose. Oh, Basically, his, his nose just completely opened up. Yeah. And there were a couple of funny things. Aaron Ward, who'd never really been, I, I think... He'd, on, he'd just started to do a little bit with us, but yeah. he'd never really he was, been on the panel. And he was kind of a nervous rookie. Oh, huge. And suddenly, uh, Dregs walks in and says, uh, Ray's gone to the hospital, and Wardo, you're up. And... <laughs> He thought he was joking. <laughs> he thought he was joking. He was terrified. But secondly, Dregs, of course, is the worst person you could possibly have in a situation like this. 100%. Instead of being supportive, Dregs did a video recreation <laughs> of the incident. <laughs> and actually, Ray had enough makeup on that there was like an outline of his face in makeup on the glass wall. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> so Ray goes to the hospital. We get through the hits. I don't puke. Um, game ends. I spent most of game seven with my head between my legs, looking up occasionally at the play, trying to get through it. I don't think you missed much. Ray showed up back maybe, I don't know, sometime in the middle of the game with a bunch of stitches on his nose. But it was so... Why did he come back? uh, Because he's a hockey player. (laughs) And there there were stitches, but the wound was fresh enough that there was blood and all sorts of stuff oozing from it. (laughs) Not good for you. So the the Bruins win three nothing, which frankly was a good thing for me that it was just a not double overtime and and anything. So we're on down underneath in the bowels of the building doing our hits live into Sports Center, and there's Bob in the middle, and Ray on one side with crap oozing out of his nose, and me with the mic shaking like nobody's business, and Bob of course the one professional who gets us through it. And in the midst of all this, we turn on the television and there's a riot <laughs> outside. And cars are burning, and the report, the early reports of that riot were insane. That just that people were getting thrown off buildings. Yeah. The, the, the the crazy news that comes out of a, a live news event is is like. Did you guys have any anticipation that there was going to be a riot? I know I thought there'd be some silliness, but I didn't think it would be like this. And it was a, it was a legit real. Oh, riot absolutely. with craziness yeah. going on. Unfortunately, there was precedent in '94. They had the same thing. Absolutely. Before, right? So we end up getting a shuttle bus back through the streets, and uh, and make it back to our hotel. By the way, Bob almost commandeered that bus. <laughs> I, Bob <laughs> takes charge of things, and he did not like the way the bus driver was going, <laughs> and he was on full alert because I think Bob thought the bus was going to get taken by riders and flipped over. So he basically took the wheel and guided us home. So I sat down, had some food, and uh, I started to feel better. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so a couple, of, a couple of friends were texting and saying, hey, you want to come back out again? I'm like, 
You, you were ra- out in, out in the rallying. Rack. Right into the right. I was rallying hard. So I said, yeah, you know what? I feel good. I think I also had left my credit card at the last bar I'd been to and needed to that gather, gather my credit card the before, my, are flowing. Yeah, before my early morning flight. So I get to the door of our hotel, which is on Burrard or Robson? The Sheraton there. I get, I get the two mixed up. Burrard. Burrard Bridge. Burrard Street. And... Just I'm leaving. A couple of other TSN staffers, I believe Tony Rosenberg was yeah, one of them. Yeah, Tony was definitely are one of them. Running He's back inside me, yeah. from the mess. Yeah. And the, the riot squad is coming up the street, and Tony's like, where are you going? And I said, oh, I'm just going to go have a drink. <laughs> 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 Tony <The> shaking said, <laughs> stopped. Tony says, I don't think that's a good idea. And so we're having this little conversation. And at that time, some guy, I don't know what the guy did, but some guy is running from the riot police with the riot police chasing him. And he runs, and I still have no valid explanation for this. He just dove through the front door of the hotel. Like the I, glass door? I don't know if he lost his footing or was just so terrified that he was going to get beaten by the riot police. He just dove through the front door of the whatever that hotel is. What, the Wall Center? Uh, no, not the Sheraton Wall Center, the one across the street. Maybe it's a Delta? Anyway. Mm. And, <laughs> just sma- and the glass went smashing all around Tony and I, and... <laughs> I said, yeah, probably. I just, <laughs> I should, I retired in my room. Should probably stay Order in. a couple Mick Ultras. <laughs> should probably yeah. stay in. So That's imagine good. the fun we're going to have in Nashville if well, any of that happens. Uh, oh, my God. It's going to be so good. Because we're there on the good days, too. I think we're going to have seven podcasts worth of puffy stories. <laughs> Thursday, wow. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's eight days. Unbelievable. All wide open. Speaking wow. of puffy stories, here's Puffy's Hypotheticals. Before we get to Puffy Hypotheticals, we uh, we really had to sneak this podcast in. Lester uh, is very busy today, and he oh, yeah. was nice enough to come on for the first few minutes just to do his Victor Newman. Just to do my Victor, Victor Newman, Newman, right? I'm very busy man. Lester, Lester has to do. He's got Lester's got to go. He's got a gig. He's I got a gig, gig. Yeah, at Genoa City. He's going on tour in Genoa, Genoa City. City. Right. Genoa yeah. City tonight. Uh, so Lester, <laughs> you Lester taped a little intro for Ryan Johansson for later on and taped all his other songs. So, Lester, you have been excused from episode 15 of the Rubber Boots podcast. Thank you very much, fellas. I know that uh, you'll still you'll, get credit. You'll miss me. And, uh, you I, should uh, say something serious before you go. Well, uh, I'll say this in all seriousness. It is wonderful to be a part of this broadcast. It's a blessing. Get the hell out of here, Lester. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Get out. It sounded, that sounded like uh, the Greg Fokker's prayer in Meet the Parents. Oh, dear God. You are such a good God to us, a, a kind and gentle and accommodating God. Serious Lester Puffy, ask the first question. Maybe Lester will stop and answer before he gets out of the room. Uh, going into Game 7 tonight, uh, would you rather lose Game 7 of the conference final or win Game 7 and then lose in four straight in the cup final in humiliating fashion. Like never score a goal. Yeah, like you get blown out. So you're like the worst, basically you're like worst how like final loser ever. Uh, Lester? I'd rather lose in, in the conference final and be done with. Really? Yeah, I don't want to get killed in the final. Okay, so get, the hell, out, get the, like the hell out of here. Oh, That's Lester. Goodbye, everybody. Um, okay, so once again, uh, in the case of the Ottawa Senators Pittsburgh Penguins, which we don't know the outcome as we're recording this right now, you lose now. Or you go to the final and you get absolutely humiliated and you're one of the worst finalists ever. Yeah. Bump. I'd go to the final. You this get is a, your, now, uh, we're saying this as a fan, right? As a fan, a fan yeah. of your yeah. team. So what's your, te- what's your hockey team anyway, Bump? Detroit Red Wings. Okay, so you want your wings to go to the final even if they get killed? Yeah, because they would never get killed because okay, they always they kill get, teams. They get killed. It's a hypothetical, it's a hypothetical and you hypothetical. can't change the circumstances No, but I would it. rather see them in the final. All right. I'd, everybody wants their team in the final. You don't want them to lose... In the uh, semis. You know who does Nobody it? says, hey, great. Lester, who just answered the question. <laughs> right. Before he was fired. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Puffy, what would be your answer to this? I'd also go to the Stanley Cup final, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's just about moments, buddy. You'd have yeah. that Game 7 moment. you love it up. You're, oh, we're going to the final. You're excited. And then you'd be disappointed. I think after the season, you'd probably feel a little worse about your team that got oh, blown out in the, the final. final yeah, but you'd be like, oh, they really have no chance. They got blown out by the top teams. Kind of like the Raptors. Look at them. Like... 
people aren't that excited about them anymore because everyone's like, well, they can't beat the Cavs. Kristoff? I would uh, lose game seven. And who's your team again? Leafs. You would you want to save the embarrassment. Why is that? Because uh, you already hear how many years we haven't won the cup in. Add this on top of it. Right. Yeah, but at least we've made pretty. the cup then. We haven't yeah, made, made the, the cup. cup but I, I just think you can't destroyed. under... Like the San Jose Sharks have made the cup, but and the Leafs haven't. You can't underestimate. If, if, if it's as Puffy is saying, yeah. if you get truly humiliated, then that could be talked about forever. That's true. Whereas if you, went, if you lose an overtime of Game 7 of a conference final, you go, man, that was close. <laughs> yeah, it's very, that's a very But nobody taught... Like, who did the wing sweep... Uh, Devils way back Colorado, right? Colorado. That one? No Colorado no. Philadelphia Florida. Did they sweep Philadelphia oh, then Yeah they swept yeah. Philadelphia Nobody talks about Oh Philly I wish Philly wasn't in there Yeah but that was oh, Lindros' but your final is perfect Your Florida Panthers Example is perfect Yeah but they Nobody they, talks about Oh They, yeah, got yeah, but you got they don't get embarrassed they, got yeah, they lost only triple uh, overtime Or something I think that the context Of this one It has to be really Yeah like you get blown out Like five nothing Every single eight, game one right. You're never in any of the games You still were in the cup final and you won a game seven conference championship? Yeah, that's true. Pretty cool. Yeah, well, but then think say, of the letdown. Yeah, say it's you, a letdown, but you still like a game seven conference finals to go to the Stanley Cup or to go to the NBA championship, whatever well, it's it is. It's the ultimate high. It's the then ultimate you just high. Plummet. But I'd take the ultimate high. But then you're all excited about going to the cup final in game three. You got your ticket, you spent three hundred bucks and they just get pumped. Yeah, I wouldn't buy a ticket. There. I'd just watch it on television. Uh, this is a great this would be a great discussion on fandom. Ah, fandom. You're welcome. Uh, well yeah. done. I uh, once again neglected to mention off the top of the show, Fandom, our sponsor. I'm going to have to once again go back, Christoph, and do something for the top of the show. Fandom. Uh, we got some more taglines, Puffy. We kind of were screwing up the... Yeah, uh, we butchered the last it's week. It's the sports bar in your phone? A sports bar in your phone. Well done, well Bump. Done Thank you for it. listening. Oh, I kept calling it a, oh, a sports, sports bar in your bar pants. In your pants. pants yeah. And that was a mistake. It uh, doesn't they, serve drinks, though. They've stayed so with us. Really Fandom, by the way, I think is launching earlier than the ESPYs, which I told you about. You might be able to play with it in Canada um, within a few weeks, and wow. then it will launch internationally after that. And I'm trying to talk while I find <laughs> the new <laughs> taglines. Okay, here we go. New Fandom taglines. Fandom. You fight with your thumbs, not your fists. Pretty good, pretty good. The idea of the Fandom Sports app is that you go on and uh, vote on polls and have arguments with your buddies. And we're going to do a, um, a Fandom segment a little bit later on in the show. But Bump, uh, Bump kind of got us out of order. Way to go, Bump. Jerk face. Why can't you still do a Fandom? Well, we are, but we're, still, we're in the middle of hypotheticals. Was yeah. it bad that you mentioned your sponsor? No, that wasn't. that's not bad. You're welcome. You're welcome, Canada. Uh, what's, You're welcome uh, Canada. So I ended up. I, I am going to go with Kristoff and stay get knocked out because I don't want the scar of everybody so saying your team was the worst Stanley Cup finalist. So ever. You're hoping for an Ottawa loss tonight, then. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jimmy, not. just admit to the people you are an Ottawa Senators fan. There's nothing wrong with that. I people in your team, you that. can be a fan. I have told you that because my parents are avid fans that I would like them to win for my parents, but I legitimately do not cheer. I cheer for selfish things, Puffy. You know that. If it was Ottawa against Washington, I would be torn because we all wanted to go yeah, so you would, to Georgetown. So would you be cheering for Washington tonight? That's a tough call. I love my hometown. See? I wish Ottawa would have the got the Thursday, Sat- yeah. the, or the Saturday, the Wednesday games. games instead of Monday, Wednesday. It doesn't work out the best. Yeah. Uh, what is your second question, Puffy? Uh, the I second heard the one. rumors that this is a juicy one. Uh, if your wife slash girlfriend, I guess we all, are we all married? Christoph, yep. Married. We're all so married. So if your wife uh, and your mother-in-law changed bodies <laughs> and the only way to get them back to normal is to have sex with one of them, who would you choose? So what do, what do you mean by... Oh, so, so Cheryl is there, is there and Ed? her mother... Jean, my mother Jean, switch bodies. So, so I have fre- to have... So Cheryl, it's it, like Ghost with yes. Whoopi Goldberg is... Freaky Friday. Yeah. Freaky Friday. I'd Freaky take Friday. Lindsay Lohan. No, that's no, not, that's not, that's not the, the question. No. <laughs> it's not the question. And, and you would and take really, Lindsay Lohan take over Jamie Lee. Jamie Lee Curtis? Yes. No, I'm it's terrible. A tough that's a tough that's, choice. No, it's no, not. Let's get to that Jamie Lee Curtis. Yes. For Jamie sure. Jamie Lee Curtis was a little older then. You'd probably have a shot with Lindsay Lohan yeah. in the day, though, because she'd have no idea who you are. That's why I'd take her. You could say, hey, I'm Tom Cruise, and she'd be like, all right. Okay, so I am having sex with... Oh my God, Puffy! It's either Cheryl's so, body and your mother, but she's in there 
feeling it, and your mother-in-law's feeling it, <laughs> but it's Cheryl's like, body, so and the words spoken are my mother-in-law's. Yeah, well, she would be talking to you, but in, in Cheryl's her voice. voice, in Cheryl's voice, and then or I'm or I have my mother-in-law's body, body, but Cheryl's, Cheryl's in, in there. there, and she's speaking in your mother-in-law's voice. <laughs> 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 pretty good, eh? <laughs> that is really that is, disgusting. It's a tough call. Does anybody know what animal is on the screensaver? Is Dave, that good? <laughs> what, what is, I'm what's just postponing intent? the answer. Is really... Uh, okay. I guess I'll go first on this. Well, actually, Puffy, you came up with the question, so I think you should go yeah, first. Yeah, you should go first. Uh, I think I would uh, make love to my mother-in-law's body and my wife inside, because really I'm making love to her soul. <laughs> <laughs> So that's all I would really see when I'm making love. So she listens to the podcast clearly because she does not I, I listen to the podcast. But I'm be... hoping this works her its way to her. Or maybe your mother-in-law uh, is mother-in-law. smoking. <laughs> well, she's only she's a young one. Uh, J ride bump. Oh, Sorry, man. I think you got to go with your wife's body. No, it's got to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. And your mother-in-law would be so gentle and loving and yeah. nurturing. I think you just. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe. but then all of a sudden she knows the, you're, you're actually the one who's going to remember it is going to be your mother-in-law. How would our so? Do you think our wives would want us to answer the mother-in-law's body, but them inside it? I don't think they. would. I don't know what they'd want. I, I don't think I, they would. I, I think if they're, uh, I'm taking my wife's body. Yeah, I got to go with my wife's body. It's a fantastic body. I love my mother-in-law to death. She also has a very nice body. <laughs> So, your mother-in-law. So, so, but really, you're actually making love to your mother-in-law. But you're not really. You're, not. you're making love Why to the person, that? not the body. No, I, no. I think she'd understand. Not in this case. I think she'd understand. You I better think. keep it pretty vanilla there, buddy. Look it. Either way, she's making love to James Duffy. <laughs> so Don't try and pull a Rod Smith. She's the winner. <laughs> <laughs> she's the winner. Don't think she hasn't thought about it. <laughs> oh God! Getting worse. We're gonna. Is there a CRTC rulings about these things? No. Christoph, can you answer this question, please? Uh, I think I would just leave. <laughs> you leave both <laughs> women. I, 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 like, pretty much. This, like I said, this I is just too much. Yeah. Just Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> yeah, Lindsay Lohan's a good I'll one. I take that. One. Puffy, I think this was worse than your question about murder <laughs> uh, a few really? weeks ago when you had to watch someone die. I think that was fine. This one was fine too. Okay, maybe people board. can write in and yeah. s- suggest, <laughs> and maybe the ladies in our audience uh, can can answer the question with their husband yeah. or their father in law because we want it to be equal. Yeah, husband or father. <laughs> I don't know who my wife would choose. Man. You are a really wow. sick, sick puppy, a sick puffy a puppy. puppy. Puffy. Okay, this is a. Uh, is, are we done? Yeah, that, that's that it. I did two. I, I can only I have two. I'm done. stretching. Do you think we to need two. to reduce Puffy's hypotheticals to one? Because to one every I, other week. I see you on the internet moments before the show, <laughs> desperately trying to find things. Well, Google. Just up, why don't you just come up with <laughs> just come up with one weird one and one thing sports. in the news? Thanks. So we sports. try to get sports. Thanks, comments. Comments. That's what happened. That's what I'm trying. <laughs> right. to and do. we got the mother and her wife. Yeah. Thing, so. That's what we've that's been great doing. For, f- for 15 <laughs> episodes, we've been doing one sports thing and one My weird thing. My last Puffy's hypotheticals was way easier than this. What one. was yours? Well, what was it was the golf. It was all revolved around golf. And what? Well, I did a theme right. one. We were in the like basket. I got to say Dorf on golf. Right. Yeah, that was, that and you guys good. made fun of me because it's not a movie. That's yeah. true. And it was also, a series of it just had no videos. traction with our audience. <laughs> That's not true. I pulled three people, and the three people yeah, in your like, audience, the Dorf line <laughs> killed. It did. Puffy, by the way, I think you were saying last week that uh, try to get us over a thousand followers. Yeah, did we make I'm it just over? Going to look right now. The rubber boots. You're podcast. over. Yes, you were at eleven hundred. Twelve hundred and twelve. That's pretty big. Skyrocketing towards fifteen hundred. That's huge. <laughs> Still no little blue check next no. door. Uh, this is going to be a different version of another segment. Again, Lester has left us now, but left us with a couple recorded versions, including uh, things I saw on Twitter. Freaky pigs, strange chicks, world affairs, polar bears, fake news, nice shoes, big boobs, jack dudes, all of these things and more as I sat on the shitter. Things that I saw on Twitter. <laughs> so uh, we didn't actually find anything on Twitter this week, but we, we <laughs> thought we would we use didn't have that. time. <laughs> but just, you, you like the happening. song so much? Actually, the stuff I loved on Twitter, there's been so many great gifts and stuff from... Look at uh, you throwing that uh, word around like you know it. <laughs> yeah. With Trump and the Pope. 
Oh my God! Oh, the Pope looks so miserable. <laughs> there's been so many fantastic things like on a, there, but they're all visual, sadly. I thought he would at least try to like pretend. You know, he's a Pope. He <laughs> loves everyone. <laughs> he does not like it's Trump fantastic. at all. And whenever they put in the curb your enthusiasm music, what they do on those things, and they zoom in on the Pope, uh, spectacular. <laughs> So, uh, as you all know, and probably the only reason most of you are listening is to find out if you won the golf club or not. We, TaylorMade, our friends at TaylorMade, uh, are giving away a three-wood. Now, and I had some lefties concerned that it was a righty Mm three-wood. As I said, they gave me the club. But my buddy Nick from TaylorMade, who's just the best, he he wrote and said, and by the way, TaylorMade doesn't sponsor the podcast or anything. We're not getting any money from them. They're just nice enough to donate us. If they want to sponsor Bump and Run, we'd be up for that. (laughs) No, they'll, they'll take us first, baby. Um, but we can might throw you a bone. That'd be nice. You can, they can, they're going to give away a bag of teas on the Bump and Run podcast. Everybody needs teas. Hey. Uh, the, guy, the guys at TaylorMade will do it to your specs. So if it's a left-handed golfer who wins, uh, they'll do it your That's way. Awesome. If, if you're an extra tall person, they'll give you an really? extra long one. That's great. And if you're a short person, they'll give you an extra short one. You want extra higher loft, lower loft. TaylorMade will do this three-wood the way you want it done. Wow. So we asked last week, we, we selfishly wanted people to suggest segments for the show and asked you to write in to at Rubber Boots Pod and suggest segments for the show. It was an overwhelming response. As always, there were some really good ones. There were some not, not really. so good ones. A few people mailed some in. Uh, Jay Ride, you had a suggestion, didn't you? Yeah, I think... Uh, you can't win the golf club, by the way. Yeah, really? you're out of the running. Well, screw that. I'm not giving you... St- <laughs> um, I think you should pick random five random words... Out of the dictionary, and you have to use them during the podcast. But would we just tell? Work them would, would yeah, we you tell, can tell the people. people. Yeah, that so way they can follow along. We'd say little it off sound the top. effect ding when somebody uses it. Hilarity ensues. Sounds like a lot of work for Christoph. Yeah, Not really. I know. He probably has uh, one queued up right now. All right, oh, it's that close. <laughs> we'll think about. Can doing you imagine it? if sure. he did? That would have been awesome. <laughs> We'll, so we may do that, but he's not going to win anything. No, he wins nothing. That sounds like something. I could that would, use a three wood actually. Yeah, I've seen your gear <laughs> and your swing. Yeah, uh, I, I can't read them all. Uh, we really appreciated everybody who who wrote in suggestions. Okay, and I can't read them all. One thing I think we will do: a lot of these I think would work for one show. Yeah, one or two. Right. But they're good segments, but I just don't know if we'd be able to keep. We were looking for a going. regular segment yeah. that would actually work. So I'll read out some of the ideas we had. Uh, now I'm going to have to go through these likes. I tried to like them all. Oh, crap. Some people emailed me, and I don't have those ones saved. <laughs> totally so screwed. all of a sudden, everyone a who, of the people. who emailed man you of the people, folks. is out of the running. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you guys could fill some time, I'll, look, I'll, I'll check my emails. Uh, Ted Erklick. 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 <laughs> you, you know, you don't... <laughs> Do you, know Do you know this guy? <laughs> I may or may not know. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, you've misspelled that. <laughs> that very common name. Okay, very so clearly, it. clearly one of, this is one of your buddies who yeah, wrote it? Yeah, it's a buddy. Okay. My old roommate, actually. So did you just tell all your old friends to I write I told in? them all, you want, then, you want these clubs. He doesn't even golf. He won't even those know Those are also the, the three clubs. people he can't I pulled. The Each week, um, the boys do a Dear Abby type question from uh, a real column and call it Dear Lester. So... We we grab like a Dear Abby uh, question, question and ask Lester. Ask Lester, Lester, Lester and he gives still us still exist. Dear Abby, I, I think there's know. other people. Yeah, uh, like there was some woman in the Toronto Star who did it oh, for yeah? years. I Rosie Devano. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> it was not Rosie Devano. <laughs> That's good. Can you imagine that though. <laughs> that would be great. Dear Rosie, special call him. Um, and do you think those Dear Abby things are real? Yeah. I do. Real letters? I do. From real people? Jim Carrey wrote a real letter. Would that be that'd be a huge scandal? <laughs> in the Your mask. references are in the crazy. Mask. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, to... Do you know? Do you no, I don't uh, remember the mask you d- that well. Come on, really? I remember the general story. That but was Cameron Diaz at her finest. Yeah, I felt, she was. I felt she looked great. Yeah. in that movie. Uh, so that was from Puffy's Buddy. But that's that's got that's potential. Yeah, I think that would like be a good one. one. But we're not going to give him the... We yeah. had a lot of prank call ones. A lot of people want us to do prank calls yeah. to Dan O'Toole, prank calls to some TSN it's not staffer. Easy to do. No, and I, and I think the prank calls would, would wear fast. But we used to, what was that prank calls we used to always listen to? Oh, Jerky Boys. Jerky Boys. Yeah, those they ones were are good. really good. But it's like, tough, tough. But those to guys are yeah, professional. When they I, got the people to call into them, yeah. they were selling stuff. 
Money. So but I, we have to, the problem with And we'd end podcast, up just calling O'Toole every week and mm-hmm. bugging him. Mm-hmm. Well, that would be kind of funny. That would funny. be good. We could just do that for fun. So we might do a prank call at some point, but yeah. I don't think we can do a regular save. No, it's not Because right. I have yeah. to be professional yeah. at some point. Unless you just did it. That's or true. Lester just did when, it. His, when does the pro- professional start? When does that start oh, on the funny, podcast? Really funny. Good luck getting me back at the Masters next year. Yeah. And then out. the coverage is going. Uh, Bump Bum produces our Masters coverage. Calvin Lewis. It's Lewis. That? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, from last week's episode, seems like Cock Talk could be a good long running segment. Cock Talk, yeah. Cock Talk. Time for Cock Talk. That was my little theme I came <laughs> up with. <laughs> recording. Uh, we have that recorded. <laughs> That's or maybe the, maybe we should maybe we should just play uh, Bump's uh, soundbite from earlier in the show. Yeah, I love penis. Is that what you said? I, I love it, penis. <laughs> he did. I think that's what I said. <laughs> time I'm for, for I'm just trying to get back on the show. Time for so every time you come on, we'll do cock talk. Yeah. Time for cock talk. <laughs> I like penis. That'll, <laughs> that, be, that'll be the whole thing. That'll be that'll be and the intro. <laughs> and that was cock talk. Thanks for, this for week. sharing, uh, Blake. Uh, dumb stuff seen around. You've seen her. I tried to write these down, and I didn't write. I wrote. <laughs> you sound like you're there. not reading tried English. To, tried to short form them. I think I'm going to read it's them Hebrew. off Twitter. These are all in Hebrew. Do a segment on dumb stuff you've seen around the TSN studio, which I thought he meant actual <laughs> items, like a half-eaten <laughs> apple from Natasha. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> but I think he meant like funny, funny what stuff. What would that Stories. go for on eBay? From Natasha? Yeah, I think there'd be some somebody bid some on that. Some creepy fans. Um... There would be plenty that would bid on that, including many in this building. The a lot of the suggestions to us were things that we kind of already do. <laughs> <laughs> you should do like your dreams. Well, you talk about hypothetical situations. <laughs> yeah. What? James Somebody, should really go over his dreams. <laughs> Somebody, yeah, no. Several people said, "Hey, why don't you do a Duthie's dream segment?" Well, yeah, we kind of do that. Here's one: double Dutchy with Duthie. Duthie tells two good Dutchism stories a week. That's from Travis Mitchell. That's not bad. Saskatchewan town segments. What does that mean? <laughs> we just name random towns the Dutchie has? Sorry, Darren. That's we a good idea. We used to do that in highlights. Uh, <laughs> I know. That's, we told that story on the podcast. I remember listening. <laughs> <laughs> we, weekly segment. Who did what? <laughs> Who did what? You know, I don't, I don't you know, know what that, that segment. Is. Hey, what you do? Scott Ropp had uh, Stoff Sweet 16 where he brings us a bracket. That we filled with matchups, you know, like uh, could be bar food, best moments, girls, etc. Stoff does it, me and Puffy select. But that's it's kind of been done a little bit. It's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Why cool. doesn't Lester get to answer that? Why is it just you and Puffy and well, Lester too? Lester's not here. He got fired. As, He's going to be back. As you will. He'll again be back. Shortly. <laughs> but but like Lester, I will be back. <laughs> Here's one. This guy's thinking. Paul Fazeri, sports beefs. Everybody complains about something that pissed them off. Harvey's can sponsor. See, I like the guys that are thinking about that. But there also could be a bit of fandom there too, though. Right. Um, oh man, there's so many of these. And some of them. Some people wrote in like five. Can you uh, edit down in post, Christoph? The blank space is about to follow as I go through these. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to read them all. Puffy, can you sing? No, but I was looking for some ones that uh, can I sing? Uh, that I not cared well, about. but. Uh, like Ricky Fried, who who listens to our podcast all the time, she wrote in like f- six of them, and I can't find any of them. Yeah, right. well, they were it's gonna have to apologize. Eighties, nineties, pop songs, weren't they? Yes, where Lester starts playing songs. And right? uh, I think the girl, uh, our girl maybe, crushes when we were kids. Right. Maybe we could get. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah, eighties, nineties, pop Shazam lyrics. Shazam to sponsor it. Straight face, name that tune. We could do that again. Well, all these things are possible. So what? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'll keep all these, and. If, we, if we're if we desperate for material, which we will be by the fall, for sure, we'll just bring them back up and I'll send people like an autograph po- copy of my book or something if we use their segment. You wrote a book? But for the... <laughs> for the, books. For the golf club. Wasn't it three? Once again, Puff, we were supposed three. to decide who's to, we're, who's going to get this because two people did the same thing. Yeah. Who Terrible did we decide assistant. to give this to? Uh, who was the winner? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Thought you wrote it down. Somebody <laughs> might sue us. Hang on. Okay, Hang on. I, I think Stand it's. By. I think it's. Look, at two oh. people suggested, and and this is what we decided is the segment that ha- would have the the most urban. legs. Yes, is to that we would suggest words from an urban dictionary. Oh yeah, this was the best one. Yeah, Rod would say really read good. a word from an urban dictionary, and then we would try to find F- out, figure, figure out, out what it meant. Yeah, and you probably know more than me because you're pretty urban. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of street cred. And I don't probably understand a lot of it. 
Yeah, you right. didn't know what glory hole was until yeah, that's very not true. Exactly. unbelievable, really. Pegging, you had to explain yes. to me. Pegging. There's a few terms that you aren't exactly up yeah. to date on. I live a very, very controlled life. So, um, James McDonald. Justin, uh, Justin G. Justin G. said, Duthie tries to define random urban dictionary yeah. terms. James McDonald said, Rod Smith, urban dictionary reading, submit words to use the best. So it's essentially the same thing. Combination. Now, James McDonald did it six days earlier. I don't think Justin G. probably read through all the things. I don't think so. I don't think he's... No. So I tell you what I'm going to do. It's not that type of guy. I'm going to get him... Do you what, know him? What do we, how do we decide? <laughs> how do we decide? Coin flip. Uh, yeah, probably coin flip. You know what? I'm going to get him both of you. You do not. Hey, you're going to you buy your own pocket. This is why you're going to buy listen. another oh, crap. Wood? I have to do Ottawa radio right now. This is why people <laughs> listen to your podcast. <laughs> this is happening. I got a, Ian Mendez is on the phone. You want me to take this live? Yeah, do it okay, live. Hold on. Hello. Okay. Hey. How come whenever I'm on this podcast goes to... Hey, Steve, how are you? I'm ready to go. I'm not busy. I'm not doing anything right now. I'm 100% ready to answer all Ian Mendez's questions. Please stand by. Please stand by. Apologize for that brief interruption. I'd forgotten that I had <laughs> yeah. to... Radio called. Radio interview with uh, Ian Mendez. And now we're going to be late for our sports center hit. This whole thing's gone off the rails. And you know why? There's one reason. Bump. Bump. <laughs> as soon as Bump showed Bump up. Bump shows up. You're welcome, There's Canada. always the shaky, yeah, his, shaky his podcast. goofy asides that we're he does. not even drinking. No. So we decided that James McDonald and Justin G, who yeah. had the Urban Dictionary ideas. Uh, now, I hope I didn't miss somebody else who had the Urban Dictionary idea, because then we'll get sued. That's true. But I'm going to find a way to get them both three woods. Uh, guys, it is a little busy time, so give me time. I'll contact you on Twitter somehow. We'll figure out arrangements. Yeah, by 2019 through. golf season, yeah. they are yeah. going to be straight. We'll have the new M5. The, the problem woods. is I don't really have people, so I'm going to have to like ship this thing myself. <laughs> well, the only problem is I'm your people. So <laughs> That's right. I, I certainly don't You're want You're going to be, be in no shipping. shape whatsoever. Uh, so congratulations again. Thank you for everybody, and we'll use some of your other segments too. So if you didn't hear your name or hear your segment... There's still a chance on a future episode it will get in there. And we'll bring the Urban Dictionary thing in yeah. maybe next week when we're on the road at the... Because Dragger will be in your wheelhouse as yeah, far as yeah. not knowing these he, terms. He doesn't know diddly squat. <laughs> uh, Fandom is the sponsor of the show. Um, with, we haven't done very well at doing a good sports argument, which is what Fandom is all about. Yeah. But Shaq and Charles Barkley... Two legends. Kinda, they kind of did their own fandom segment the other night on the TNT basketball panel. You don't want to mess around, Chuck? You, you have no idea what we're talking about. because It's you, a real must win for Boston. Because you've only been to the final once. So I you didn't don't know what the, riding on the Wayne Ways and Kobe's coattails. It doesn't matter, Chuck. I got the same yeah. thing you got, and I passed you up I'm 10 years ago. Just letting you know. If anyway, I had been riding anyway, on Kobe's coattails and anyway, Wayne Wade's... No, it's about that, why did that get so personal when no, we're no, because, talking about game five? No, because no, like, Chuck he, always interrupt me. Don't interrupt me, Chuck. I'm going to punch you right in your face. I'll tell you what. Okay. Uh, okay, we're going to be moving you. some furniture. Okay, okay. I'm going to throw uh, one of these chicken wings at your fat ass. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that got heated. Yeah. The that, chicken wings look good. Did you see them? That they never, look really good. That never happens on the hockey panel. No. Although, I mean, there's been moments. There has been some moments where... Yeah. Where there's been some Wardo and Ray. Ray Ray's Ray spices in the mix. it up. Yeah, Ray can get Nobody ever challenges Bob. No. Ray um, and I have gotten into it a couple of times. Usually at the final when we're tired. Yeah. There'll be a moment or two. Ray and Wardo the odd time. O Dog and I'm trying no, to think. No, O Dog no. hasn't really gotten into it with anybody. Uh Bob's the peacekeeper though. He's he pretty much settles anything. Yeah, nobody's And if anybody has either. a problem with Bob then they're not on the panel yeah, anymore. They're, they're <laughs> short career. <laughs> so we don't even have to do anything. We Shaq and Barkley. Do you think that was real? I don't think it was real. I think there, were, there was a little anger in I there. I think there's the a end. little. The only thing is those guys do, like, I'm sure Chuck really does think that Shaq sort of got lucky having the great players he played with, right? So right. there's jealousy there, so I'm sure that's... right. There's some truth there. Uh, it's another uh, mostly guest-free edition of the show. The hour interviews, as I said, I'm going to try to do them in studio. We haven't had any time for those. When we come back in the fall, mm-hmm. we'll do lots more extended interviews. I think I promoted Eric Stone Street for nine weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the, the latest I got from his agent was, why don't we do this when Modern Family's back on the air? Okay. So uh, sometimes so he's going to be on. That's, that's Jonathan Torrens just is going to be season on. Finale. Yeah, we got lots of people we're going to have on. It's just a matter of coordinating our stupid schedules. This is where you do miss time. off the record being in the building. <laughs> right. Because you could have <laughs> done some double dipping wrestlers there. Wrestlers galore just pouring <laughs> through here. 
<laughs> uh, we do have a guest, though, and uh, his name is, well, he's off to the Stanley Cup final, but not really. Yeah. Which is sad. Ryan Tough Johansson break. played so great during the Stanley Cup playoffs, but unfortunately, we'll have to watch this one, but was kind enough to join us. Ryan Jojo, Jojo Hanson, the ladies think you're handsome, you're the talk of Nashville, they call us Nashville, making lots of cash, it must be a blast, but now you're on the podcast, Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. And here is Ryan Johansson, so you have the leg thing, surgery, and then last night you're up all night puking, so you're on a roll here, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, I was I was in one already, but I was really in one last night. Uh, that sucked. Give us some a graphic detail. How many times up? How many times over the toilet? Oh man, it was it was about four with the food. <laughs> That's not good enough. What? So, uh, is this related to the meds you're on, or is this just completely different? Somebody, some I called because I was worried about like the infection thing, maybe or something with surgery. So I had to, uh, you know, I had to make a make make a couple phone calls to our doctors to make sure everything would be fine. And they're like, yeah, there's a stomach bug going around right now. So you know, I guess I guess I just picked that up somehow. We saw you uh, limp onto the ice in the celebration after winning the Western Conference and. That must have been a, a weird feeling because I'm sure you'd envisioned it your entire hockey career, but not that way. Was it mm-hmm. what? What sort of combination of emotions were you feeling? Yeah, it was uh, it was a pretty hectic moment. I guess I, you know, didn't really know uh, how things were going to unfold out there. It, you know, I just wanted to be out there and uh, you know congratulate my teammates and kind of give them hugs and stuff because. You know, obviously we we reached our goal. So, um, <clears throat> you know, after it was all said and done, I was just I was just pretty pumped. I was able to get out there and, and uh, stand beside the guys for the photo. Now, logistically, the celebration afterwards, dressing room after dressing room, can you participate at all in that? Though, as gingerly as you were walking, <clears throat> uh, not really, because. I had surgery that morning, actually, the the morning of that game. So the doctors were all trying to get me to go home after the first and second period. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, right. So uh, I uh, I really just stuck out the game and, and hung out with the guys for a few minutes. And then I and then I got out of there as quick as I could because you know, obviously I had to get home and, and rest my leg up. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a it was a quick celebration for me. I'll ask you only one other standard question because I know you've been doing a lot of these interviews the last few days, and the Rubber Boots podcast is not about normal interviews. But how frightening was it when I know the thing you kept playing, the leg kept swelling up and swelling up, when suddenly you're getting rushed to the hospital and there you're going into surgery? Was it scary? Uh, <clears throat> It just, I guess, I guess from it happening so fast that it it didn't really creep me out at all. They were, and one of my teammates uh, went through the same thing earlier this year, and and they were just kind of comparing it to that the whole time. They're like, "Oh, this it is what it is. This is what's going to happen. Like your leg just blew up, and and we have to get in there because uh, you know it, it can end up being dangerous if you if you leave it." So. So what is that? Uh, what is that off. moment like when the doctor says you're not going to play again in the playoffs? Yeah, I, you know, I think that my first reaction is, you know, just being being safe and making sure that, you know, you know, obviously, uh, just you know, taking care of my health before anything. So that's obviously the first thing that goes through my mind is just making sure that I'm, I'm going to be fine. But then, obviously, the the days after that, and you know, obviously watching Game Five and Six unfold from the hospital room, and you know, it's, it sucks not being out there battling with your your teammates that you've battled all year with. And um, but you know, but you know what? I I thought it'd be I'd be a little more uh, disappointed and upset of not being out there on the ice. But those those guys just absolutely give it their all every time. And it makes it a lot easier to watch the games because you you just ignore you 
you know exactly what to expect from the team and, and from the individuals and their efforts and and uh, so really just throughout the time watching them it's just been so inspiring and and uh, you know I've, I've really just been so proud of those guys. Well, you played fantastic hockey, and your team did as well. Here's my criticism. I didn't think it was fair, that picture that went out on Twitter and Instagram that your girlfriend took with you and the dog. I mean, you already have the girlfriend, (laughs) and you take the picture, you know, in the hospital bed, so you're going to get sympathy anyway, and then you add the dog into the picture. If you had a baby under one arm, <laughs> that that might have been the end of it. I mean, it's just, it's not even fair to the rest of the guys out there when you're throwing all that into one, okay? Uh, I know, there's nothing better than dogs. He just popped right up on the bed and snuggled up and, you know, made all the pain go away. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got to get to the crux of it. Uh, I know you guys are faithful listeners that in the in the Nashville dressing room before games you've often played the Rubber Boots podcast <laughs> to psych yourself up for, for it. Sometimes in intermissions. Uh, Puffy is here next to me, one of the hey, regular Ryan. members of the cast. Uh, the crux mm-hmm. of it, at the beginning of the playoffs we did a Stanley Cup final Best City Showdown. The Stanley Cup final Best City Showdown uh, Nashville was the number one seed for me and Puffy. It was basically our dream to go to Nashville for the Stanley Cup final. You guys have made dreams come true, buddy. Yeah. So Puffy has some very important questions for you. Uh, outside of Tootsies and Legends, what spots do we have to hit on Broadway? Uh, the stage. The stage would be probably next on that list. The but... stage, okay. I mean, you don't you don't have to search too far. You just in one door and all the other. They're they're all right beside each other. So, <laughs> is there danger areas? Now you have to know that Puffy has a tendency to get into danger. Are there places he needs to avoid, Ryan? If I stay on Broadway, uh, am I good? Yeah, there's a river at the bottom of the street. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend going around there or swimming or anything, but. So if you just stay stay above that river, you'll, you'll be fine. Okay. Perfect. It's not what I meant by danger. <laughs> I meant by danger bars, you know, by Seedy the client, people. the clientele, oh. perhaps, or places that Puffy would enjoy so much that he would never leave and get fired. Those were the kind of things I was thinking about. Yeah, well... Uh yeah, it looks, looks like he'll be getting fired if he's coming down to the, to the final. So. I think that's a fair assessment. Now, will you be healthy enough? I know you don't want to jinx it and get ahead of yourself, but if Nashville's up 3 nothing in a deciding game with a cup final, will you be healthy enough to get on the gear like some of the Black Aces and such do and come out on the ice and celebrate? Uh, uh, that's a good question, actually. I haven't thought about that. I, I don't think so. But uh, in you know in a week or two, I guess well uh, it might be it might be different. But um, yeah, that's a good question. I, I haven't thought about that. So I you know I guess I'd love to get out there and throw the gear on. But see, that's what that's what sep- time for- separates athletes from me. All I would that's be the about. that's the only thing I'd be thinking about. <laughs> Can I get out there with the damn cup yeah. and get my photo and pour a little water on me so I look sweaty? <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, uh, man. I. I, I think- I know you got to go get healthy uh, and take some more sucky pictures with your dog. It's a beautiful dog, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, brother. But we appreciate you coming on and taking a few minutes to be on the podcast, and I look forward to seeing you at the final. Hi, right, fellas. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. Ryan Johansson. Some solid advice there, Puffy? Yeah, I feel good. Uh, stages? Yeah. Got to check it out. Not a bad idea. I mean, Tootsies is probably going to be a go-to, though. Bump, you were pretty quiet during that interview. Do you not know anything about hockey? Do you know Ryan Johansson <laughs> plays for the National it, Predators? He's just are a golf still, and football guy. Are they still playing hockey right now? Would if, you, if I'd have let you ask a question, would you have said, who do you like in the U.S. Open or something yeah, like that? exactly. What's are your you handicap? Be there? Yeah. I'm a, I'm, is he going to be at the U.S. Open or am I, were you asking me if I'm going to be there? Remember when I did it with you? I know. It was, it was awesome. Good times, eh? It was good times. When did you do the U.S. Open? Pinehurst number two, yep. 2005, I was think. It a yep, lockout, right? Michael, Michael Campbell, Campbell won. Campbell. Jason oh, Gore wow. That's one to tell the, yep. when you're bouncing the grandkids on your knee. Tiger was second. Michael Campbell. <laughs> I know. Won the U.S. Open. What, what? about uh, we did the British Open and the PGA that year, too? That's right. We have so, take so that. the best years of your professional life have been NHL lockouts. In That's many right. ways, Correct. yes. When Bump comes on next, 
2019 maybe mm-hmm. um, we'll tell stories about our British Open that's right oh, yeah, that was, we had some good times I was, I was there, there too there some good stories from the British yeah, Open yeah we could do a whole segment on that really I, was Wolf. A, I was with my wife yeah, you yes, saw you us. Were. You met us in a bar yeah, one time. We went, you saved we went spots a friendly trip. for us. Yeah, we did. At that Italian place. Uh, okay, uh, okay. DeMarco. This podcast okay, has gotten sorry. really oh, yeah. boring. DeMarco is there. <laughs> okay. DeMarco. I think yeah. the point of a podcast is to tell stuff, you know, stuff about our lives. Mm-hmm. But if we just start doing things like, hey, remember that time we uh, we were at the store? <laughs> That's basically what we were doing. <laughs> it's, pro- it's probably not. You know that the- time we all met at the restaurant and had yeah. dinner? Uh, we forgot to ask Johansson about Kessler. Yeah, it's that a bogey. Was, that was a mistake. I was too excited. Can't make about a birdie every time. The, I was I was excited about letting you ask about the bars. Yeah, uh, but you know what? He asked. He was asked about it all day yesterday in all these radio interviews. He doesn't take back anything he said. He basically hates Kessler. Well, that has the best one. Like like nobody likes you. I know. That was a, that was a great. Because <laughs> really, it's true. I don't think anyone likes him. Uh, anyway, so uh, a very rushed edition of the Rubber Boots podcast. Although it went a little longer than we thought. <laughs> uh, I'm now on air in about. Uh, I'm wearing a t-shirt right now. And we're on air in about ten minutes. Do you think I can get a shirt and tie and Should have got amp- makeup first. I think, I think you're going to pull it off, and hopefully you're live, because if you tape it, you'll punt it a few times. Yeah, I'm the not live, good, not the live will the help you. Um, which, are we allowed to tell people we tape our hits sometimes? Yeah, uh, I think they know I guess that's what that. the podcast is for, right? I think they know you're not live at 9.30 a.m. <laughs> the hair and makeup is sometimes four and a half hours for me. <laughs> it's true. Right? They're in there just chiseling away. <laughs> that's right. And I was due to get a little... What's the stuff they shoot into your forehead? Botox. Botox. Yeah, I needed that shot of that before I get in there. You were, you're, heading, you're heading into your Botox years. <laughs> do Don't do sure? it. Is that a hypothetical? Would you ever? Would I? Yes. Uh, if you were on TV. Like, if I could do it and it wouldn't... People would not know. People wouldn't know I would do it for sure, yeah. Yeah, but your forehead doesn't move, so they're going to Costas know. has yeah. apparently had a lot. I mean, allegedly, I don't want to get sued by Costas. Yeah. Because the rumor was, remember when his eye he got wa- messed he up? He listened yeah. to the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was on the, I got to say, I was on the Richard Deitch I saw that. Uh, Sports Illustrated podcast. Yeah, I haven't listened to it yet. Nice. Yeah. So I should plug Richard, who's a very nice guy. It's just like the Rubber Boots podcast, except it's actual journalism questions from a smart person. <laughs> <laughs> and no shenanigans. So I thank Richard. I don't know why he had me on, because it's mostly an American-based audience. Hey, this could be good for you. And a lot of his questions were quite... Fu- or I know we, we really have to go, don't yeah. we? But uh, his questions were funny, because he really doesn't know anything about me. Really? I don't think he's ever seen me on TV. And why did he have you on? So he no. would see, the questions were things like, okay, I'm, I'm going to read some questions from uh, listeners wrote in. It says something about you being on a quiz segment. <laughs> And I should ask you about torts. What is that all about? <laughs> Who, who's, torts? who's torts? And what's a quiz? And what's a quiz? <laughs> it was so. It was very. It was quite intriguing. But uh, Richard had actually done homework and interviewed people, so he knew a few things about me. So uh, when you're done listening to the Rubber Boots podcast, you can go on and uh, hear me talking quite seriously about stuff on the uh, Richard Deitch Sports Illustrated podcast. Also, my trainer today. We another thing we neglected to do to update on is uh, New Jack Summer. New Jack Summer. I'm I'm buff now. Are I'm buff? looking good, yeah. I've been struggling with a few injuries. What's your injuries? Uh, several. I have a little hip problem right now. I have a, a bit of a neck issue. I know. I've been grinding it hard for about five weeks now. I'm starting to Dave nose. is my trainer at Individual Performance in Aurora. Nice. Uh, he didn't ask for a plug, but he told me that one of his clients was upset that I hadn't plugged him on the podcast. Oh. So Dave is an awesome trainer. That could be taken a couple yeah. of weeks. Well, See, I didn't know you were getting... right now. Look, look at those pipes. Pretty good arms. Do you think I should do this? Yeah. I'm, on the air? I'm, yeah. I just, now, are you a tank top guy? I will be this summer. Yeah, New I think, Jack I, think summer I might try. I think I'm, I might try tank too many tops this summer. Buffy, I'm on the air in five top. minutes. We have to go. <laughs> no. Thanks, this Buffy. Is, this is great conversation. For the guys who won the uh, things, James yeah, and Justin, congrats. I'll figure it out on Twitter. We'll Sorry, get Teddy, things. I couldn't pull through for you. <laughs> Teddy I mean, Urklick. Did you Urklick. know him? Uh, <laughs> A friend of a friend. <laughs> we gotta go. Thank you for listening. Next time, hopefully, you'll hear from me and Puffy, probably with a few Mick Ultras in us from a hotel room oh, in Nashville. We'll have a couple. It's gonna be a good one. This is JD's podcast. JD's Rubber Boots podcast. You got that? He's gonna sit and relax and tell you some stories. Tell you some stories. Talk about life and sports. And probably some play some games, but I don't play games. All right. You know you're gonna have a laugh. Have a damn laugh, alright? This is the podcast. I foreclosed on your home and sold your dog. You have a nice day. Are you wearing your rubber boots tonight?